Hi everyone, in this course I'm going to be teaching you guys Cal 3, which is also known as Applied Advanced Calculus, ENG or 233 at Concordia University. Now I'm going to start with Chapter 7, which is basically a review on vectors like, uh, like how to do addition or subtraction of vector, cross product, and dot product. So let's get started. So Let's start with 7.1, which is uh, vectors in two spaces. So what is a vector? A vector is a, a vector is a mathematical object represented by magnitude and direction. So what are some examples of vector? Do you guys remember? So first we have displacement, which is measured in meters, and velocity measured in meters per second and moment of force measured in newtons per meter. Now these are some, some examples of vectors. Now let's move on. Now what is a scalar? A scalar is a mathematical object represented by magnitude only. And some examples of scalars are distance, of course, measured in meters, and speed, measured in meters per second, work, measured in joules, temperature, Measured in Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin, and energy in joules. So these are a few examples of scalars. Um, now, what is a unit vector? Um, unit vector is a vector whose magnitude is unity, like magnitude of one. Magnitude of one. Um, and do you guys remember the the formula of unit vector? So it is the unit vector and the given vector over the norm of the vector. Now, how do we calculate the norm of the vector? It is just like the Pythagorean theorem. We do like x squared plus y squared and square root it and magnitude or norm of the vector, which is the same thing. And don't worry, we're going to do an example of it. Now let's move on. So let's start with an example of addition and subtraction of vectors. So we're given two vectors, um, a, a14, and b, negative 6, 3. Now we have to find a plus b, a minus b, and 2a plus 3b. Now start with we're going to start with a plus b. So we're given two vectors, 1, 4, and negative 6, 3. We have to add these two. So we're going to be adding the x component of this one, with the x component of this one, and the y component of this one with the y components of this one. Like addition of factor, we do like x1 plus x2, and we do like y1 plus y2. So just like that. Do one we're gonna be doing one plus negative six and then four plus three, which is one negative six that is negative five, and then four plus three, which is seven. Now this is the vector a plus b. Okay, now let's move on to a negative b. Now a minus b. Um, so a minus b. So we're going to be subtracting these two vectors. So we do 1 minus, minus 6 and 4 minus 3. So this gives us 
1 minus minus, which is plus, 6 plus 1, which is 7, and then 4 minus 3, which is 1. So this is A minus B. Let's move on. So 2A minus 2A plus 3B. So first we're going to be doing the multiplication, 2A. So we have 1, 4, 4, 8. We just have to multiply it with 2. So this gives us 2 and 8. Now 3, 3 times B, which gives us 3 times the vector B, negative 6, 3, which is negative 18 and 9. Now we do 2A plus 3B. So we have this for 2A and this for 3B. Now we just have to add these two. So then we're going to be adding these two. So 2, 8 plus negative 18, 9. So we're just adding the x components of this one, x1 plus x2 and y2 plus y2. So then 2, negative 18, and 8, and 8 plus 9. Which is negative 16 and 17. So this is 2a plus 3. Okay, now one. Now this is another question. We are given a vector. 2, negative 1, and we have to form a unit vector in the same direction and as well as the opposite direction. Now, the, the formula for finding the unit vector is the vector, the given vector over the norm of the vector. So first let's find the norm of the vector, which is x component squared, y component squared, and square rooted. And which gives us square root of 5. Now we have to find the unit vector, so which is this vector given the 2 negative 1 over square root of 5, which gives us 2 over square root of 5, negative 1 over square root of 5. So this is my unit vector in the same direction as a now if you guys want to find in the opposite direction how do you do that? so opposite direction is simply the uh, it's simply the negative of the vector we just found so the vector found was 2 over square root of 5 and negative 1 over square root of 5 so we're just going to multiply it by negative 1 or Okay, or a negative, so it becomes negative 2 over square root of 5 and negative negative, which is a positive. So positive 1 over square root of 5. And this is the answer for, for the unit vector in the opposite direction. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.